That's one, two, three, six. Yeah, that's definitely all of them. <laughs> Considering the last time you didn't notice one of them missing from battle because someone just so happened to be a new addition to the group. I thought a head count would be beneficial. I also didn't think we need to be worrying about any stragglers that might come to let everyone free. Not just our friend here, but those nuisances that always seem to cause trouble whenever they enter the picture to help out. I've never liked those lone wolf types that only come to the rescue when they think it makes them look cool. He was no exception. And clearly our friend here would have benefited from his help. Otherwise, they might have already been tucked in for the night without a care in the world. Well, that's nothing we need to worry anymore at least. I've already taken care of it. <laughs> I killed him. I think that should suffice. If our friend here couldn't avoid capture while working as a team, I doubt there would be any successful attempts at leaving. And with him out of the picture, there shouldn't be much cause or concern. Unfortunately, when the self-proclaimed heroes need a hero of their own, I can't help but question their self-image. I'm certain they will always make for better pets than they would as enemies. Hmm, what do you do what you want with yours? There's no rules for fun. An extra hand for your work. A punching bag to take all your frustrations out on. Someone to fill the gap in your non-existent love life. The list goes on. Well, we all know what your choice will be. Better to let you pick. Mentally prepare for the rush with you. Oh, don't worry. Everyone knows who you want. No one is taking your favorite away from you. But since I've done us a big favor of getting rid of our biggest problem, I think it's reasonable for me to pick who I want first. Don't pretend like I share your awful taste. If anything, I think your judgment is enough to deter me from certain picks. Be grateful that the only thing you'll lose out on today is your pride. If I know everyone here well enough, you will get exactly who you want. I guarantee you will have zero objections to my decision. Just watch. I want this one. What's with that look? We're picking pets, not targets, for a standoff. I thought that was the agreement. Yes, and who I chose to humor in a battle doesn't necessarily equate to who I want to play dress up with. Besides, the most obvious choice would have caused quite a bit of contention between a few of us, I imagine. And we don't need any more blood spilled over our entertainment. I already killed one nuisance. Don't convince me to kill another. Do we have any objections then? 
Good. Now I'll let you fight all over the favorites and try not to yell too much. I shouldn't be hearing you from the fifth floor. Test it out and see how I react. Do not disturb me. That is your final warning. Come this way. If you hear anything from downstairs, let me know. A few of your friends might end up as roommates by the end of the night if there's too much commotions. But that aside, you're not leaving this area unless I give you permission. Is that clear? Cat got your tongue. Uh-uh, don't shudder. Look up. Hmm, precious little thing. Maybe it will put you at ease to know that I find harming pets to be deplorable. And considering that I have to look at you every single day, I prefer to keep you intact and easy on the eyes. I can make you look a lot nicer. There's some outfits I've had in mind for you for a while. It takes a while to get a certain look down, as I imagine, and considering how little time I get to spend looking at you in battle, it's taken me more time than I anticipated. You can thank a certain nuisance who is particularly fond of obscuring my view of you with his blade. I suppose I got enough of a look at him to know that I prefer him adoring the advanced stage of rigor mortis. Luckily, I didn't have to leave that up to the imagination any longer. Even in life, he didn't do a particularly good job of protecting you from me. And honestly, neither did you. You're a little too attractive for your own good. It may be only me speaking for myself, but I don't think you should have much to worry about. Considering how shocked everyone was about me picking you instead of the obvious choice, I think there's enough proof that I have plenty of restraint. Well enough not to ruin all the nice experiences I have planned for you. I could dress you up in all the nice clothes I've imagined you wearing. Maybe something better, something simple to start off with, so I can ease myself into a new arrangement better. There is a fine line between harmless indulgence and addiction. It would be better for you to, for your sake, than my own and my own, that I don't willingly lose myself and have things play out differently than I intend them to. You know full well the sorts of people I work with. With all the years pent up of resentment influencing their choices today, your friends may be forced to endure the weight of those feelings all at once. But I can at least shield you from the people they'll become as a result, as well as the person I could be if I were to allow myself to stoop to the level of my allies. There's a reason that we even have the opportunity to share those feelings with you today. Had I shared any of their qualities, all of this might just be a fantasy in my head. Competence aside, they all have their uses. Talking one dog, taking one dog away from the pack will bait the rest into coming after me. With allies to share with them all, they're all at least separated. 
And I only have to worry about one burying its teeth at me. But I suggest you don't bite the hand that feeds you. I might not bite back, but there are a few things a pet needs to survive. Anything else is a luxury that is earned with good behavior. Of course, you'll be rewarded with all of the tricks you do correctly. You'll be given plenty of practice to get them down, but eventually I expect you to do them correctly. Let's try something simple. Take my hand. Now place a kiss. Oh, very good. And once more. Excellent. Now please, tell me what you like for dinner tonight. Uh-uh. I said dinner. Dessert can wait. Might I suggest something comforting? Something to remind you of home? Oh, that sounds wonderful. If there's anything in particular you'd want in it, I can send a list to our head chef. Anything you think would make it taste the way your mother made it? I'd love to share the happiness it brings you. And I'm sure dessert will help as well. But I'd like for you to learn something else first. Bow your head and say please. <laughs> of course. You can have dessert. What would you like? I'll make sure you have some after dinner. You deserve it. Patience. It will be some time before you can have it. In the meantime, why don't you help me decide which outfit you like to wear tonight? I have several I, th I think would make you look like the guest of honor. Maybe I'll convince my allies to step up their game. But no matter the gifts your friends receive, I will always strive to do better. I doubt any of them can compete with this. Yes, take your time to look. There's several in the back as well. Which one's your favorite? Oh, I do like that one. But I think this one would look nicer. You will have the opportunity to wear all of them. This one, I think, suits the occasion much better. If you're adamant about that decision, you'll need to convince me. Saying please isn't enough that I'll have a different opinion. Saying please isn't enough when I have a different opinion. You can kiss my hand all you want, but I won't get you anywhere. Why don't I convince you instead? I pride myself in my ability to have others see what I see. I think you will find yourself doing exactly what I ask quite willingly. Let's see then. Please. <laughs> I'd like to hear your side of then. Why should I agree with your decision? Hmm. That is a very compelling argument. I might just have to agree with you. It's not every day someone gets to change my mind like that. Then I must commend you. You're learning very quickly.